Today I'm going to be showing you everything you need to know to get started streaming through StreamYard. Let's jump in. So to get started, you just need to head over to StreamYard.com. I'll even put a link in the description so you can just click on that and go right there. And it'll take you to the home page like this. and It'll show you some information about StreamYard and all the things that it does right through there. And what we're going to do is we're just going to start by creating an account. And you can either sign in through Google or with an email address, whatever your preference is. And once you have created an account, it's going to ask you some questions just to get to know you a little bit better to customize your experience. And once you answer those questions, then it'll take you to a page asking you to either continue with the trial or sign up for the business account. We're going to just continue with the trial. And then even to continue with the trial, you do need to enter your card information so that if you continue, it can charge you then. But you can cancel before your trial is up. And then it'll ask you if you want to be billed monthly or yearly. We're just going to stick with monthly if we decide to continue on. Click on Get Started. And then it takes you to your main dashboard here. So you've got a couple options to create live stream, recording, on-air webinars. It lists, you know, everything that's in your library. If you've already had past recordings, your destinations, which is the accounts that it's connected to. So you can add your YouTube and your Facebook and uh, Twitch, whatever you need to broadcast on or live stream through that way. And then you can also add members if you have other people that are going to be using this account for business purposes. Okay. All right. So in order to start streaming, a couple of things that you need to set up ahead of time. So first thing you need to do is add a destination. This is where the software is actually going to connect to and broadcast to. So we're going to click on Add Destination. And from here, you can connect as few or as many of these apps as you want to. In our case, we're just going to connect a Twitch account. So I'm going to click on that. It'll ask you to sign into your Twitch account, or in my case, I'm already signed in. So we just need to authorize that. And then your destination is connected. So you can either go back and add another one or go to home. So we're just going to use that one for now. And then you want to prepare your studio. So we're going to click on this. And this is the actual layout of how it's going to look when you are streaming. So it's going to ask you to access your mic and camera. So we're just going to click on that. We're going to say allow while using the site. So it'll bring up your camera here. So you can change which camera you're using or your microphone if you have something different, speakers, all of that looks the way we want it. And then you can name the display whatever you want. I'm just going to call this Andy and enter studio. All right. And then it pops up with a box right here to add to stage. So we're going to add that in there. And this is what it looks like. And you have a couple of different layouts that you can do. You could have two if you wanted to like do an interview style or have multiple people or a screen share, things like that. We're just going to do this basic just me on screen there. So again, you have the same controls to be able to adjust your camera, or your microphone, but we're going to go over to the settings here. But what I'm going to show you is we can go in here to virtual backgrounds. And so from here, you can add a virtual background. They have some preloaded ones here, or the one I like is just to blur the background. So it kind of gives you a little, little offset that way and separates you from the background a little bit. Next, we're going to look at the branding over here, and you can select different ones. So maybe you have multiple companies that you're working with or different broadcasts that you're doing. You could have different brands along the lines of that. So you could add a logo. I'll just use the StreamYard one for now, but you could add in your own. And then you have a couple of overlays here. So let's say you want to do like a like and subscribe. You can also do welcome. You have a couple of different options in there, and you can even add more. You could also add an intro clip. So maybe you have a, an intro video or an introduction video about who you are, what you're talking about. You can add that in there. And then they also have some loops here. So like a countdown, 30 second countdown, you know, some of these which are nice for just kind of pre-built options to go in there. And you can set that to loop so it just keeps playing until you're ready to start. Okay. And then they also have backgrounds. Now these come into play if you have multiple cameras on screen or multiple people on screen at the same time. It'll, it'll create a background behind all that. And the music, which you can add if you'd like, I always find it a little distracting, at least through the whole thing. So a couple options just to make it even look better for you. Now, continuing over on the side, we have comments, which shows you the comments that appear over here as people are watching that. And then if you click on show, it'll pop up on the screen. So all this is already built in there, which is kind of nice. Okay, so we can hide that. So if there's a specific question you want to highlight, you can bring that up on the screen. You also have banners. You can write up specific information there. And I'll show you what this looks like. This is an example banner. 
click on the banner to show it on the screen, or you can switch to that one. So these are information. Hey, I'm going to be live again next Tuesday at seven o'clock, whatever you want that way. And then once you have everything laid out the way that you want it to look, then all you have to do is go up here to create. So when you click on create, you got a couple of options. You could either click on live stream, which will go out through whatever streaming device that you connected to there. In my case, it was Twitch. Or you can do recording, which just records this within the app, and then you can send that out or do what you want with it. Or you can do an on-air webinar, which is all contained in StreamYard. You get a link that you'll send people to to be able to do that. In our case, we're going to go to the live stream and want to call this my first stream yard. And then up here, you'll have the option to select any of the apps that you've connected to stream from. In my case, I just have Twitch connected, but you can also add additional ones through there. So we're just going to go to the Twitch and it's going to ask you if you want to uh, pick a category. We'll talk, go talk show and podcasts, save changes, and then you're ready to go. So all we need to do now is go go live asking if you want an intro video. I don't. So we'll just say go live. And here we are. We are live broadcasting right now to Twitch so that everybody can see what's happening here. Now, keep in mind, there is a bit of a delay from the time of what I'm seeing here to when it's going out on Twitch, depending on your internet speed and your processor and things like that. And once you're done, you'll see here that all you do is click on end stream. And it'll ask you again, if you have an outro video, I'm just going to say end stream and it has ended. How did it go? Good, and you could send some feedback if you want to. We're gonna say not right now, and that's it. It's that easy to go live on StreamYard. I hope you found this video helpful, and I'll see you in the next one.